Right, just a quick one because it's just about to piss down with rain again. Um, so you, I left these last time with these ridges on uh, where they're, they've been glassing right up to the um, edge of the bench seat. So I'd cut that off so I could take the bench seat off but it's left this big hump here which got to come off. So with a diamond tipped disc on the angle grinder I've managed to uh, cut these strips right off and uh, leveled it somewhat and obviously I'll get the grinder to it now to take the final bit off so they're smooth and flat so there'll be no edges and then uh, the next job is to sand the whole hull Alright guys, just a little update. Um, I took the boat down to my friends at the fiberglass fabrication factory today and uh, they took a look at it and told me exactly what I needed to do um, and that was to grind off those sections that we, we had on here. I, mean, I did cut them off with the uh, diamond tip thingy but there was still, there was still a hump there and uh, so they said you've got to grind them down so they gave me the tools and I uh, sat in the boat for a couple of hours and uh, ground it all down so now it's flat it's all flat and smooth and uh, what we're going to do I've ordered some uh, non-slip deck paint and that's on its way so uh, what we're going to do now, now it's all flat and smooth, is uh, paint the whole thing, paint the whole deck. So I managed to fund the purchase of the uh, deck paint and um, and the hole saw and the steel uh, by selling all the fenders we had. We had a lot. Of, I bought a lot of fenders as a job lot um, for the pontoon dive boat. And we still had all the fenders, so I managed to eventually sell them on eBay. They were literally on there for must have been six months, um, but they've finally been sold. So uh, that funded uh, the little bits and pieces we need for this. So there you go. Right, thanks for watching, and I'll update you as soon as I've done any more to it. Thanks for watching. Right, so. Uh we're getting on with this um, deck. Um, went over to the factory yesterday, uh, like I mentioned, and got it all ground down so it's all nice and flat. I've got one issue here and that is with this hole. Now it's an inspection hole, it needs to be there because you need to get to the uh, underside of the bilge pump. So, uh, but before, if you remember, it had a a nasty little piece of uh, checker plate screwed over the top of it. Well, to be honest, I don't like checker plate anyway. It just reminds me of uh, sticky back plastic in the 70s when everyone put sticky back plastic over things like the kitchen table and all that kind of stuff and thought it looked awesome. So the checker plate had to come off. Uh, well, to be honest, I left it at the factory, I forgot about it. I took it off to clean. I took it off to get it out of the way and then I left it on the side somewhere. Um, but anyway, I always intended to replace that scratty bit of checker plate with a hatch. And here we go. So the seats that we took out, this hatch was on. This hatch was on one of the seats, one of the bench seats. So I, I took it off before I scrapped the seat and uh, I'm going to pop that in there. I think that would be a lot nicer, a lot neater. So I've got a jigsaw and I've marked the circle. So let's go for it. 
Sorry about the noise, but we're working on the Land Rover at the same time. So, I've previously mentioned we're restoring a Series 1 Land Rover, and uh, that's what all that noise is in there. We're getting there anyway. Right, I made short work of that. So the pipe you can see in there, if you can see it, that's the bilge, that's joined to that hand bilge pump. So that's the reason why we need this hole in here, to get to get to that. Right, let's see if it fits. Alright, good afternoon YouTubers. This is the last um, little bit about this because it's finished now as you can see um, I've painted the deck with a non-slip groovy uh, deck paint uh, that was a litre, one litre that was and it was just enough to do it, one, one coat all the way it was literally just enough uh, swap that thing there and that checker plate bit of checker plate that was screwed on there we've swapped it for a a hatch which I think looks a bit better it will when it's clean it's a bit dusty and dirty and got fingerprints on it but when it's clean it'll look alright yeah so the deck's all done anyway um, that's that so thanks for watching remember if you like what you see uh, we will be doing a lot more diving once we get this boat in the water. We'll be able to start diving again uh, And our search for the lost wreck of the Albemarle will commence again uh, If you want to buy a cool t-shirt like this one, you can get them on our website at uh, Treasuredivers.uk So thanks for watching again and see you soon